mentally also. This is only meditation that will help you. Five, five minutes in the morning, ten minutes in the evening. For every center, there's a way they'll tell you, they know everything. You just follow it. All the pains can be relieved in no time. That's all. Those are the three on paper. I don't know if there's any in the audience. Does anybody have a question? From the audience. Yeah. Yeah. Depends on, depends on, depends on. You see, after Self-Realization it is your sweet will whenever you want to be born. But incarnations are born after two thousand years normally because they want to correct people or to uh, establish again some goodness in them. And also some people who die actually hang around also. They don't want to die, some sort of uh, they have still some greed left in them or some sort of thing, so they hang. Some go into limbo, as they say. So all these things are different, different varieties. But for Sahaja Yogis, no problem. If you are a Sahaja Yogi, you die at your will and you are born at your will, if you want. And you will, because you want to save the world. You, are, you get such compassion such compassion. And we don't pay to any Sahaja Yogis anything, neither we take anything from you. But look at now here, there are people from Sydney, from here and there, they all are here. Just compassion. Isn't it nice to feel that way? Everyone wants to look after you. You become part and parcel of the whole and everyone wants to really help each other in every way possible. Also materially you improve, I must say, uh, it's not a lie but it's a fact, because I was myself surprised that in London we have so many Sahaja Yogis in England and none of them are unemployed, surprisingly. Unemployment is so high there. And here also I find uh, all of them are very well placed and doing very well. Everything works out. This is mother's chocolate, you see. <laughs>